You might have seen this kick where someone takes a bottle of water, bangs it on the shelf, and instantly freezes it. I can tell you this, it's no trick. Water can be in gaseous, liquid, or solid form, and that is dependent on the energy it has, or the heat. This script works because liquids have a property of being super cool, which is when they're below the freezing temperature but don't turn into solid. Let's revise some basic concepts. Gases are warm and have a lot of energy, so water molecules are spread out and move a lot. In liquids, there's lesser energy, and all those molecules still move around, they're slow enough to form loose bonds between each other, keeping them together. Solids have really less energy. Molecules get really close to each other, forming strong intermolecular bonds. For water to freeze, it needs low energy, also known as being cold. It also needs strong intermolecular bonds to form. Then, the water needs to start freezing from a certain point, forming a nucleus. The point where water starts turning into ice is known as the nucleation site. This is what nucleation looks like. Anything can start a nucleation process, a piece of dust, some minerals in the water, a disturbance like shaking, anything. This is why we have to use pure water. In pure water, this can't be super cooled. Now, once we let our water cool down in the freezer for a bit, it's going to be super cool. Super cooled water is highly unstable. So once you go ahead and bang the bottle of water on the shelf, that should cause some of the particles to line up starting nucleation, slowly turning the water into ice. Hopefully, you learned why you can't instantly freeze regular water, so stop banging that table, and you learned something new from this explanation. So, I'll catch you next time.